Okay, potential difference in the circuit. Eh? Potential difference in the circuit. For series circuit, the sum of the potential difference across individual resistor in between two points in a series circuit is equal to the potential difference across the two points. For example, uh, there's a resistor here, there's another resistor here. Uh, if the potential difference across the first resistor is V1, and the potential difference across the second resistor is V2, then the potential difference across the two resistors is V1 plus V2. Okay, for example, uh, uh, this 2 ohm, this 3 ohm, uh, if the potential difference uh, is 2 volt, this one is 3 volt, then the potential difference across these two resistors from here to here, okay, uh, is 2 plus 3 equal to 5 volt. That is for series circuit. Eh? Series circuit. Uh, v is equal to V1 plus V2. That's the very first thing that you need to know. Eh? Now for parallel circuit, parallel circuit, eh? the potential difference across all the resistors in a parallel circuit uh, is the same. For example, Let's say this, these two are in parallel circuit, okay? So this is V1, this is V2, okay? And uh, this is V from this to this, okay? That is the potential difference across the two resistors. This one is the potential difference of the first resistor. This one, the second resistor. And from here to here, there's the potential difference of the two resistor together, right? They are the same, okay? They are all the same. For example, sir, this 2 ohm, this is 3 ohm. Huh? Uh, the potential here is 3 volt. The potential here must also be 3 volt. No matter what, what the resistance, eh? what's the resistance? This 2 ohm or 200 ohm or 2000 ohm, okay? If this is 3 volt, this must also be 3 volt. And this, the one across the two resistors, okay? This eh? must also be 3 volt. Okay? So for parallel circuit, the potential difference is the same. Okay, it's the same for all uh, the branches. Okay, here three wood, here three wood, and all together is also three wood. Okay, that's for parallel circuit. Eh? For series circuit, then you must add it up. This one plus this one equal to this one. Eh? Okay, but for parallel circuit, they are the same. V one equal to V two equal to V. Uh, this one first, eh? the EMF, the e EMF and potential difference. Uh, after that the potential change in series circuit and the potential change in parallel circuit. Uh, make sure that you understand these two. Okay, really, really understand these two, okay? Because this is uh, very, very important uh, in understanding circuit. I'll explain to you later. So let's go to the slide. Okay, this one, okay? EMF and potential difference. Uh, we are going to discuss EMF. EMF is this, uh, called electromotive force. Uh, Electromotive force. We are going to discuss electromotive force in. Okay, after this uh, circuit, uh, we will discuss EMF. So here, I, I'm not going to explain to you what is EMF. In the circuit, in this case, circuit, uh, sometimes uh, you will see something like this. They write EMF equal to 12 volt. Okay, EMF equal to 12 volt. Now, if EMF equal to 12 volt, uh, and then uh, we assume that there is no internal resistance in the cell. Okay, how do we know there is internal resistance or no internal resistance? Now, if there is internal resistance, they will tell you. Okay, they will they will write something like this. They will write uh, a small letter R and then equal to let's say uh, one ohm. Now, this small letter R represent internal resistance, or they will tell you in the in the questions. Uh, they they tell you that the internal resistance is equal to one ohm. Uh, if they tell you that there is internal resistance, R equal to 1 ohm or 2 ohm, or whatever, okay, then the EMF is not equal to the potential difference. Okay, it's not equal. Eh? But if there's no internal resistance, no internal resistance, okay, erase this one. If there is no internal resistance, eh, uh, then the EMF is equal to the potential difference. You can assume that they are the same. Because uh, if you want to find the current or potential difference or what, okay, you need to know this one, okay, the potential difference, okay. And uh, if 
the, the questions uh, does not mention anything about internal resistance, then you can assume that the internal resistance is equal to zero. Uh, then the electromotive force is equal to the potential difference. If this is 12 volt, this is also 12 volt. Okay? If there's no internal resistance, uh, then they are the same. Okay, that's the very first things that uh, you need to know.